Let's say about 10 people went to see the state for Bagi communities inside Buduku area of Chikun, local government area of Kaduna State. They'll call on the federal government to conceive them as armed as men, take pursue them from their communities because of Bege. They say they don't they want to enter hunger level, as they not go farm again. And they need to show Bago their communities them. And they say some accused give the pastoralists, say they take their communities by force and cut take over their farmlands. The communities around the Beningwari area has in recent times suffered attacks from armed bandits, armed headsmen, and pastoralists leading to the death and abduction of many. Some of the affected communities are Rumanan Bagi, Malomo, Zankuru, Rumanan Hausa, Badimi, among others. About 10 communities were sacked by these armed bandits. These are baggy communities. Their own farm produce, their own food items, all have been destroyed. Residents of the communities from the baggy ethnic group say they were displaced since 2019 with their crops and farmlands overrun by the armed groups. While many of them have taken refuge in Ungu and BJ, some others took refuge at a public space along the Kaduna Benin Gwari Highway. They say they have continued to live in hardship since their ordeal. The Fulani displaced us to this particular place by eating our crops. They started in September, October, November eating our crops. When they finished eating the crops, Earlier before then, they had already taken the, the cows we used for farming. And then after the eating of the crops, they came and started kidnapping. There is no place here that we can farm and get food that we can eat. They are not comfortable here. We manage ourselves very well because there is no enough food for here. We have already carried everything for there. We don't know long. We are going back. The spokesperson of the Southern Cardinal People's Union, Jonathan Asake, was the federal and state governments to come to the aid of these displaced persons and ensure they return speedily back to their communities. We are calling on the government. We are calling on good-spirited individuals. We are calling on uh, uh, humanitarian organizations to please come to the help of these people because hunger is setting in. They are living in squalor. They have no food to eat. Mr. Asakewa revealing that those kidnapped still remain in the hands of their abductors also wants effort to secure their release. Amadin Ui, Plus TV Africa.